What yeah. instruments do you play, Bobby? Tell us about your musical upbringings, bro. My musical upbringing, when I was six, I was forced to learn piano. And then around 13 or 14, I kind of like gave that up for a couple years. And then about 16, I got into production. Uh, but over the years, I've played six different instruments, never really like that great at any of them, mostly like guitar and piano. And then as I got into production, got into mixing, mastering, audio engineering. So I've been doing that for about 12, almost 13 years now. And that's pretty much my history. I'm just a like I'm a dance music producer and I work on other genres just as as like a hobby, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Sick, man. Again, Christian, why don't you give oh, us a little bit the, the too you long know. didn't read version, bro? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we've been playing music together for a minute, actually. Yeah, no, we've yeah. Been, yeah, like Yeah, just throughout middle school and high school and stuff, we would jam all the time. But yeah, I just grew up playing guitar and i kind of like bounced around luckily i have you know my dad is really into music and playing instruments too so that was like such a fucking <laughs> that was a, a definitely a real blessing to have that from the get-go to be able to like he had a drum set and we had like a ratty old piano that we used and a little you know it was a raggedy ass piano <laughs> We had a, a raggedy ass Gibson SG, which it was sick because it was it was an SG, but it was it's pretty. Uh, I think I remember <laughs> that shit. <laughs> I need I to go get that. that that thing serviced. Isn't know, that still hanging up. hanging up it, in, in your it. old room? It's in my old. Spot. It's on my old room. Yeah. yeah. Damn. I want to get it set up to play slide. There, <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Just like who cares if the bridge is all you know, or if the frets are all fucked up and the the neck is all fucked up. Adds to the character. Yeah. What's up? Oh, you need a can oh, bottle opener. Good. Oh, good. yeah, we're good. We go. Um, but yeah, did you take a when did did you take formal lessons at first, or did you, um, did you just learn I took a, like I guitar took tabs and stuff? I took piano lessons for a bit, for like a couple years. Chris did a is couple from, of the streets. from the streets. From yeah. the streets. <laughs> from the, the hard mean, streets. Mean streets. El, El Greasy. El Greasy, bro. The Greasy. Greasy Grove. Um, yeah, no, I took I took lessons for a while, but then uh, I didn't like get super serious about it. Uh, I did band in middle school. I played alto sax for a little bit. We were in band then, in middle school. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. And then um, I wanted to play snare or wanted to play kit, but there was already like too many people doing that. They're like, we'll take nine saxophones, but we, we can't have nine drummers. No. I was like, all right. I get it. And then, um, yeah, I just got more into guitar and I got more into production and stuff in like ninth, 10th grade with Bobby and we yeah. were making hella beats. And doing all that kind of stuff back back then, I was We're just both looking like at Dead Mouse is sick, bro. Yeah, I was <laughs> looking at my uh, my old SoundCloud that yeah, has shit from like yeah, ten. Dude. Some the oldest track on there is eleven years ago. Some of that shit hey, still holds remember up really you well. Did the, some of it. Remember yeah. you did the music for the uh, the the school news oh, segment, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, bro? That was the fun. fucking ah, school that's anchor, funny. That's and this fool would have like fucking deep house beats over the fucking like uh, yeah. over the fucking yeah. news, the school news. Just to clarify, that's a weird thing about our high school is that we didn't have a school newspaper. We had like a school broadcast. Like we had a whole <laughs> that broadcast. Shit was lit, dude. Fucking, like, we had a school uh, MK program. Ultra, bro. I honestly. <laughs> I honestly give that some credit to why I'm doing this today. Dude, that honestly. was my first experience in video production, yeah. which I, now I do as my like main professional gig is right. just video editing. Yeah, like, yeah. shout out to yeah. Tim Youngs, bro. Shout out to Mr. Youngs, dude. Yeah. Yeah, let's not fucking get too specific. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, you have to censor name. it out, so you're it's just like shout. Name. You're just That's like shout out to beep beep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, man, it's that. That was definitely one of the things that got started, like learning how to use Premiere Pro and Photoshop yeah, and all man. that kind of stuff, and doing. Um, I would make like video game reviews and like a oh, couple yeah, of those yeah, yeah. aired that. on the on the Wolfpack TV. Oh shit, I was too specific. <laughs> You're doxing yourself. Come on, it's it's over. It's, 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 over. it's too late. The, I know. Anybody ten, with half a brain can figure out. What, yeah. <laughs> Roll where up to the ten school. year. <laughs> dude, we're gonna do a live zoo cast at our ten year reunion, oh my bro. God, dude. Oh yeah, when is that supposed to go down? Has next that, year. Next year, right? Next right, year. Right, right, right. Fuck, I'm old. We have, to, <laughs> we no, have to ruin it like that fucking uh, like that Danny Mullen video where he goes to his he, high school in reunion. Sacramento. That was yeah. that shit was crazy. He was yeah. in Harlow's and shit. I was fucking dying. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah. No. Yeah, we should definitely crash that. Dude, Dan, Danny Mullen, he's like a, a YouTuber and he does like crazy prank videos, but he's he's from SAC. That fool was a monster. And he was on the podcast recently talking about how he he was like 
like talking about shit in like Rancho Cordova and stuff. I was like, that's so specific. I was like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Trash. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> But he just went and like trolled the shit out of his high school reunion. I want to do that so bad. Here he like wrote Bro, a speech. I had, I had he like gave a speech and just like destroyed everyone in the speech, and everybody just got so fucking bad. Thanks, I had dude. oh I got a good memory, bro. I can uh, oh dude, <laughs> bro. I, I, I blocked that shit out. I had to fight the urge to cyber bully the page they made for the fucking reunion. <laughs> the so bad, bad, bro. Oh, oh oh, do you remember the anti cyber bullying bullying pages that were made in in response directly to the like roast pages that were made on oh, Facebook yeah. back in the day? Bro. Yeah. So classic, bro. We went to like a suburban white people high school. So yeah, it was all that kind of shit, bro. It was all like cyberbullying and mean texting and don't be sexting and don't be a, uh, don't be a, uh, don't finger each other in class. Like, you know, yeah, try not to finger each other in class. Yeah. I'm sure it happened at some point or another. Q M G M T, bro. Yeah. I can't even do it. My voice is too fucked. <laughs> I was listening to MGMT. I was I have my uh, my old iPod, man. That shit's so funny. Yeah. And you I have the old 15, bops, dude. I have 15,000 songs on yeah, there. Yeah, fuck off, dude. I have <laughs> all but completely legally, you know, I definitely spent $15,000 on music uh, before mm, I yeah, was, yeah. you know, before I ever had a job. Yeah. Uh, all totally mm -hmm. legal. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, no, like that was just all of the like from 2010 to like, I think I still was adding music onto Bro. it up until like 2017, 18. I was rocking the fucking. Mm. That was a weird year. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The music taste too. Like back, you hear what you used to listen to. You're like, mm -hmm. damn, I really I was really getting down to this, huh? Okay. I had some fire on there. I feel it. I Bro, had a I, I, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was say I have a combination of fire and just sad boy shit, <laughs> and then just like weeaboo shit. What you just, got? What you? What were you oh, rocking? Bro. What were you rocking? I know. Let's in hear your school? let's hear your ninth grade playlist. My bro. ninth grade. Let, no, let's go eleventh grade. Just so you can get the whole picture. Okay. Eleventh, twelfth, or whatever year you have the clearest so, memory of. Well, that's the thing. It's like back in the day, you, it's like the things I would listen to would be with people who I was starting to hang out with. So some of it was like Coheed and Cambria. I know you like that shit, Bobby. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that's some of the it, one for me, boy. Uh huh. And then some <laughs> of it would be like fucking. Oh man, I don't even know. Victor Wound for sure, but that's the good Victor shit. Wounds, yeah. Fire. Um, and then I'd be maybe Primus. It wouldn't be anything that crazy. If back fucking Blink One Eighty Two. Nice. That shit was <laughs> nice. funny. Fucking. And there's a certain bops too. You just listen to like, like you know, everybody's got that one hit wonder fucking ass tune where you're like, yeah, I want that shit. Right. Fuck yeah, bro. Fucking hit. Um, this is like old school R and B shit too. My mom would play on the radio. That's like, that's where I get most of my like, some, well, not most of it, like some of my vocabulary while playing is the shit I was listening to when I was in like mm. elementary school in the car. You know what I mean? It's mm. like my mom's just playing all these these old head tunes, and I'm like, Ooh. yeah, mm. you know. And yeah. um, the grown folks music, the grown folks music mixed mixed with the '90s bops, the yeah, '90s yeah, yeah. early 2000s yeah. bops. Yeah. Like she play like old, she play like Parliament, then play some like Neo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. dude! Hey, bro, I don't know if I just real fucking inner inner fucking splice this story right here. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this. I'm sure I have, but the first time I ever got high in my whole life, bro, my parents took us to go see Parliament, bro. Oh, I've and definitely fuck, heard this one. And fucking, yeah. like, but, my but go off. they were like, they were like, oh, hey, like, yeah, it should be fine. It's at like a hotel. It's at like the Regency or whatever, bro. bro. And they were fucking blazing that shit up in there, bro. And I was like, got right up front and shit because I was all stoked to see Parliament. I was like, in fourth grade, bro. I was like, let's fucking go, bro. Let's get fucking delicate in this bitch, bro. And then, like, I was like, yeah, I was vibing for like the first, like, three, four songs. And then I was just like, why does it smell bad in here? I was like, it smells like, <laughs> it smells like fucking shit in here, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? And then fucking... It's just sweaty people. Yeah, and then I'm all it. like vibing out. I'm like, whatever, fine, it stinks, but I'm not going to have a bad time. And then I was just like... I need to sit down. And I yeah. Just, dude, smells kind of good. Parliament man. concerts are like the Smash Brothers tournaments. Oh it's it's, it's that same thing. And then be like, it's like you're going to get all the old motherfuckers who used to smoke crack back in the day. And they're just uh, old now. And they're just like, oh, I'm overweight and got to listen to the funk. And like, they just got done telling their kids they can't come hang out with them. And like, you got to stay home. I got to go hang out with the grown folks, listen to funk. Uh, and it's just, it's just, it's a bunch of that. And that's when George Clinton was still smoking crack. That fool stopped smoking smoking crack at like two years ago at a ripe old age yeah he fucking retired he's like i stopped touring and i stopped smoking crack <laughs> my brother went to his farewell tour and apparently all he did was just like dj and shit and like it was like a hot mess how long mess. ago was that uh, i was like two years ago i so want to say that's the thing he's 
There's never gonna be a farewell. That motherfucker's like, too I'm broke. broke. I need to buy my Jimmy Jones. You know, <laughs> like, this motherfucker's like he's fucking throwing down, like and like he just needs more money. So he's never gonna be done. He's never gonna Jimmy be done. I don't, no, I, well, I say that because I knew this cat who pl- plays guitar and he was a Jimmy Jones delivery man. And he's <laughs> sandwich place. Yeah, yeah, and he delivered a sandwich to George Clinton. Oh my god! And this god. motherfucker was smoking. Cr- <laughs> yes, this smoking crack. And like, it was, I forget how long ago he said it was, but I put, I'm like reliable source, honestly. Yeah.